So firstly, the iPhones. Maybe the iPhones being fantastic because it brings a unified, um, yeah, usable platform to us, and that is the web. So the web is accessible on all these different devices, and you don't have to worry about developing a different um, application for every single different phone, um, or worrying about compatibility, because we've got the internet that's a standard medium, and that's available everywhere. Um, the other thing that's exciting is that you can get 80% of, I think, the, the stuff you do on a computer on your iPhone, and that's enabling a lot of new stuff as well. So, mobility is not just about phones, but well, um, there's a lot of other things that can look like. Uh, this is a, a watch phone that I've been playing with recently. Uh, it's an interesting idea. It's, it's probably not a new idea, but having the actual physical thing that I can play with is pretty cool. Um, it's been interesting because I've been able to look at um, how it's using a watch as a phone, using a you know, normal phone as a phone. Um, and the first one that I noticed was that the screen is so small on the watch. And having an iPhone, um, you know, the screen is a big deal. It's, it's what makes it easy. And that's been really interesting. But I guess the, the watch also brings back an old paradigm that you carry your watch everywhere. And it's interesting that now, you know, I haven't used a watch for a few years because I used to be good for the time, but you did it on the phone now. Um, so it's interesting when the features is sort of uh, Another mobile idea is Citadels. Um, these are out of the MIT lab. <coughs> Basically, the hardware that you see in an iPhone, but just a lot smaller. So they're almost like little blocks in the place. And so I think it takes that idea of mobility um, just one step further. And you've got this whole tactile nature. So if you want to shake them around, you can do that. That can enable different features. You can move them, they can be next to each other. Um, and that enables a lot of cool, cool applications. Um, so you can see that at the top right there, that's the new version of Scrabble, where you know, random letters will pop up on blocks, you move them around, you want the word, and then it beats. Uh, but then it randomizes the letters that you want to keep it interesting. Um, so these little blocks, they have the, the touch screen, they've got the uh, you know, location or movement sensors, and they've also got um, a connection to the web. And I think that was the basic platform that's really interesting. Um, it breaks down the idea of network from a big mobile network, which might think of on a sort of you know, city or country scale, and it brings you back down to a little mobile but in a short space network. Um, and that's making some really cool applications possible. Another interesting one is this bike that if you're in San Fran, you might have seen. Um, and I think it's interesting because it takes the concept of the bike, which is a mobile thing, and then it takes the internet which is you know, connecting a lot of people around the world, uh, and it matches the two up. So what you do here is shake the handlebars, stand in front of it, and it takes your photo and puts it on the internet. And I think that's a really cool application, uh, which I think of as a mobile application, even though it's not something you play with on your phone, but it does have the, you know, the elements of mobile and does it. Um, so with a few friends, I'm playing with the idea at the moment of a bike that has Wi-Fi, similar to this, but it would just be a bike, <coughs> and Wherever the bike is, it would have this mini web top spot, and then you can ride it around. So it's kind of like the internet, but mobile as well, because we're actually moving the, the internet around. Um, I think that's a bit of a cool and crazy idea. Um, so now onto the information. Um, since we've got all these different devices, you know, that's, a, that's a bike or camera, but everyone's phone right now has a camera. You can take photos from everywhere. A lot of them are geotagged, so it actually tells you in a photo, you know, where it was taken. Um, and we create Twitter messages from all around the place. And I think it's really interesting that now that we've got that location information, um, you know, I know the top stuff might be global, but I find the, the local stuff really interesting. And there's a lot of it now. This is a, a shot of Google Web, uh, just with some overlays. You can see there's YouTube videos everywhere, there's photos everywhere. Uh, and it's just a really interesting visualization of what having phones everywhere can enable. Um, so yeah, there's, there's all sorts of types, there's, there's uh, the videos, there's photos, there's listings of businesses. Um, I guess this is where the, the idea of Yahoo time came from, is that uh, what other information can you put on that map you're walking around different places. Um, so it started, Yahoo yeah, started, for well, those of you who don't know, it's uh, business reviews that anybody can write. Um, so, you know, if you've been to a 
Google Earth is going to be putting a lot more um, locational data back into the, into the, 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 the I guess, 